Hey guys, welcome back to Amanda's Favorites. Today we're gonna talk about how I have been using an Erin Condren Deluxe Monthly Planner for a daily planner. So I'm gonna show you. Uh, this video is not gonna be a full walkthrough of the Deluxe Monthly. I do have a full review and walkthrough of this planner and I will link that video down below in the description box. Um, this is just gonna be how I'm using it for my daily. So it's not gonna be a review or a walkthrough of the Deluxe Monthly. Okay, this is the Erin Condren Deluxe Monthly Colorful. All right, and let's get right into this, how I've used it. So these boxes I've just kind of used as basic um, things I'm thinking of for each person in my family constantly and ongoing, like what I want to get done in the summertime, because that's my least busy time. Um, what kind of like a honeydew list of long-term things, um, lists for my son, things we need to get done this summer. So summer is our big time to get a lot of stuff done. Uh, okay, what month did I start this in? I think it started it in March. Let's see. Yes. So I'm not really using the calendar in the Deluxe Monthly because if you guys follow me, you guys know I already, I use an Erin Condren weekly, and but my main calendar is just a monthly calendar book by Ashley Shelley, and I showed that on Instagram a lot and in several videos on here. So that's where I do my main monthly planning out, and so when I first got this, I just, I wondered if I would want to see the major events in here, but I really don't look at it or use it monthly. So I will not be filling in the major monthly events. The reason why I wanted to try this for my daily is number one, I love Erin Condren paper. I love the feel of it. I love the smell of it. I like writing on it. So I just love Erin Condren paper. It was when she had these for 40% off. And so I thought it was a great time to grab another deluxe monthly. And I had been thinking of trying it for a daily for quite a while that it might work well for me. Um, if you guys follow me, let me explain. Well, let me explain. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you should know I don't change out my weekly planning really ever unless I just really want to try a new planner. So I have been in the Erin Condren uh, vertical colorful weekly planner for since last September 2017. And I don't have any plans of changing out of that right now. I don't like to change my weekly planner unless I am really, really wanting to try something because everything is pre-planned in there and it's a lot of work for me to switch and it's a lot of brain work for me to switch too, just looking at something new. So my Erin Condren weekly planner stays open on my home desk, my little kitchen desk, constantly, all the time. Um, I am home most of the time. I have one child, a teenager in public school, and I am homeschooling my uh, nine-year-old. So that is the story on me. I stay at home. I did teach public school for three years before I had my kids and stayed home, but that was 15 years ago. So that was a long time ago. All right. So that's where my Erin Condren weekly planner sits. And then my daily, I switch out a lot because I like to try new dailies and um, it doesn't bother me to switch out my daily because I do not pre-plan in my daily really. Now on this one, I have written out a whole month's worth of tasks, but generally in a daily, I don't have that. I make my monthly list in a different place and I make my weekly list in a different place and then I just have my daily. And that, and I don't pre-plan in my daily. I wait until the very day comes up and I write in there. So. I thought that this would make a good daily because I could keep my monthly list in here as well as my weekly list in here and it would all be in one book. And I have really enjoyed that, you guys. And I have enjoyed the pages um, being bigger than a lot of daily planners and I just love her crisp, clean white paper to write on. So there are a lot of things I have been loving about this. But let me show you. So like for the month of March, I made this my monthly to-do list. I kind of have to-dos, errands, call on, my husband's to-do list, and my teenager's to-do list, some family time ideas, so any other notes I want to make for the month go on here. Then I have my little page markers here from Erin Condren to kind of mark where I am. 
And what I do every week in this planner is then when the week comes up, I will tell you, I added as many extra pages as you can add to her daily planner. It's $5 extra. So I added all those pages because those will be my daily pages back here. And if I continue using this and I run out of pages, I will just recoil using one of her notebooks. Now, I have never recoiled, but there's all kinds of videos on YouTube, and I'm not scared. I'm willing to try that. So I can always recoil in some pages from one of her notebooks, which I already have. Or if it doesn't seem to me like I really need that nice setup for my monthly to-do list, you know, I could have my monthly to-do list in any notebook of hers. Do I really need it to be set up like this, you know, with the five sections? If I don't, if I find I just don't have to have that, then I could just use one of her notebooks, period. Like I can have a page for my monthly to-do list. And then every week I make a weekly page. It kind of helps me stay together for the week. And I usually have different categories, but it's one page per that per week. And then I go and make my daily pages. And let me show you what that's been looking like. Let's start. Let's start way back here so you can see how some days my planning is neat. Some days it's not. It's constantly changing. My daily planning, it's kind of just how crazy that day is and what my day looks like. <laughs> okay. I also love the idea in here that nothing is dated. And so if something gets really messy and I just want to restart a whole new list for the day, which often happens, then I don't need to go grab a tablet or another notebook like I would with a dated daily planner. I can just turn to the next page and keep going in here. So that's really nice too. So some days I've used a half a page per day, like here. And let's see, these are half a page per day, half a page per day. That's what my planning looks like. And then this looked like a whole page per day, but with some extra notes, a whole page per day. Because some days I just end up scribbling a lot of extra notes of stuff I'm working on. This was a whole page per day with some extra notes at the bottom. Same with this, a whole page per day with extra notes. And so you can see kind of how mine is looking. It's, I mean, every day is different depending on what I'm working on. Here's another weekly look at what my week planned out looks like. Some weeks I write my Monday through Sunday right here and I write any important or timed activities we have going on. So without having to get up and look at my weekly planner on my desk, I can have a glance at my week with me and my daily. And then I've just divided it into my sections. Sometimes it's what to do on the weekend, to do's, to call, computer work with my son. So that's my week page. And then I just go into my dailies. That's a whole page for a day. Here's two, pa two on a day, two on a page, I mean. Then another week. So this is my week list for this week. There's my days and any main events. There's all my to-dos for that um, week right there. And then I work off this list, you know, for my dailies. I can keep consulting this list and say, what can I fit in or do this day? So here's two per day. So you get the point. Some days I use an entire page per day and some days it's a half a page. If you can go smaller than that, you could even, you could be doing smaller than that. And this is my weekly list for this week. This week I was not planning in here because it was the Emily Lay launch week. Um, and I got out my old Emily Lay that has blank pages. And if you follow me on M M <laughs> If you follow me on Instagram, then you saw that I pulled out my old Emily Lay and I just wanted to plan in there for fun this week because I am going to order an academic one to review for you guys and probably use. And so I just wrote a date in on a blank page because there were several months of blank pages in here that I didn't use. And I was just using this for my daily list this week. And in doing that, what I found out was it's smaller. So I do miss the big of this book and I do miss everything being in this book together. So that's what I'm finding out when I went back to use this this week, um, just in preparation of thinking of getting a new one to use and review. So you guys, I really love this daily system. I do. Um, because I have changed my daily systems a lot. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that. 
Um, and usually my weekly list and my monthly list have to go in another notebook because they're, you know, they're in a daily planner without this flexibility. So I, I really do like this system as much as I want to use pretty laid out daily planners, which I probably will sometimes, but this might be something that I always come back to because all my lists are in one place. I did not buy tabs for this one because I didn't want to spend the money if I didn't know I was not going to stay in it. But here's like what my April list look like. And I just, I love having my monthly list in the same notebook with my weekly list in the same notebook with my daily list. I honestly have not had that ever, I don't think. And that's why it came to mind for me to use this. And like I said, I could completely use an Erin Condren just notebook for this. I just wouldn't have the fancy five box layout. You know, but honestly, I don't really need that. Um, so I think as I continue to use this, you know, I don't know if I will continue in a monthly deluxe when this one runs out or if I will just use her notebook. Maybe I will use her productivity pages notebook and try that for daily. Um, her productivity pages look like these pages. So they have a bigger writing section and then a tick off section right here. Um, and then on the back of the page, it's just lined. Um, so that's what her productivity uh, pages in her notebooks look like. Okay, I can't not talk about the notebook and show you guys. So if I wanted to switch to doing this same format for my monthly, you know, weekly and daily list, but I didn't want to use the monthly deluxe, I could definitely use a notebook and I'll show you what I mean. Also, I'll show you these Pilot G2 pins hook perfectly without like getting caught. They just go smooth on and off so easily on her spirals. And you could even put it on the inside if you wanted it to be like more secure in a bag or a backpack. So that's a really nice feature. Okay, this is her productivity layout. So I have not used this before. This is my first productivity notebook to buy. What she does, she rotates through colors she just has colored sections, and then you have a productivity page, that's what she calls it, which looks like this with your check off, tick off boxes, and just your writing room. And then on the back is just completely lined. So I would be rotating between using like this for my days and this for my days. I don't know if I, that would bother me or if I would like it, but I'm willing to try it. Also, her notebooks do come with a smaller, um, a tiny bit smaller coil than this monthly deluxe. And I'm so glad. I had a monthly deluxe before that had a humongous ring on it. And apparently they fixed that problem, thank goodness, because this monthly deluxe came with a much more normal size ring. But I even like the smaller ring on here. So... I really am liking this system for my daily planning just because of being able to have all my lists there together. I wanted to show you if you don't get the productivity pages for Erin Condren, then she just has these grayed out pages and it's just all lined. This is another one of her notebook choices. So unfortunately, I don't think you can get colorful unless you're getting productivity. Yeah, I don't think so. I'll have to check that on her site, but if I remember correctly. And that's why I really do like these pages that you add to the back of the monthly deluxe because you get a little colored flag. It's a little color because um, I don't really love this grayed out section. It kind of makes me think of sad. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but it doesn't make me happy. And it, I don't know. It kind of makes me think of prison or something. I know I'm being dramatic, but it definitely brings me down. So I like these pages much better, personally. But that is how I'm using my monthly deluxe for a daily planning system right now. And like I said, I keep a weekly planner besides this, and that's why I don't need the calendars in it. So I hope all that was clear. Sometimes I think I explain too fast because I just expect that you guys would be bored because you guys are all the ones who have been following me and you've already seen all my videos and you've already seen me talk on Instagram about this. And so I need to remember that I have lots of new friends and welcome and that I need to really thoroughly explain stuff and not assume that you have already watched my other videos or followed along with me. So thanks for watching. 
happy planning and we'll see you next time. Bye guys.